Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. I'm excited to show you today another idea with your Paper Pumpkin Kit Broadway Star. And I'm gonna keep working with the same sketch that I worked last week so you see how versatile it is and how awesome it is to have a sketch when you do your card making. So I invite you today to my craft table and we're gonna have fun. Come on, let's turn the camera around and let's get to work. Paper Pumpkin came with this color combination this month and it's the Lemon Lime Twist with some of the lovely lipstick and, uh, and gold, black and white. These were the original cards that came in the Broadway Star Kit, which was the Paper Pumpkin for June. And I think tomorrow is the last day to join for July, July's kit. But this were, this were the original cards, okay? I created many cards using the same color combination. And if you've seen, been following my Facebook Lives, you've seen them. But today I want to show you um, a different color com combination. So here it is. And this is one of the mini cards that we're going to create today. But I also want to do something else. Hi, Margarita. So good to see you today. Hi, Maritza. So good that you join me in loving stamping and loving the new color combinations that Stamping Up brings. So today I got inspired by Paper Pumpkin, but I'm going to be doing using the new gorgeous grape stamping color and also flirty flirty flamingo and coastal cabana okay i absolutely got so excited with this combination so we will be using it and i want to show you what i'm making this was one of the little cards that i made okay but i want to do something else and i'm going to start right away okay so i'm going to have a card base that is in coastal cabana and this is my usual size um my usual size that i have and i'll put all dimensions below on my youtube um when i pass this to youtube so you have all the dimensions okay i have coastal cabana right here and i am using the designer series paper that coordinates with this kit usually this doesn't happen but Stamping Up brought, um, it's called Broadway Bound, specialty designer's paper, and it coordinates with a stamp set that also coordinates with the kit. So it's kind of cool that everything coordinates, and that usually doesn't happen. But in this case, I cut a piece of paper that was four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I cut it diagonally like I did last week, okay? So this is going to be placed in here. And you are going to be really excited with what we're going to do with this set. First, I'm going to show you an idea with actually the Broadway birthday bundle. And then I'm going to show you same idea using the kit per se. Okay, that, that nice cake that we use in many of my cards this month. You will see it again. So follow me as I do this as fast as I can. Since Facebook, Facebook doesn't really give me a limit in time. But I want to limit myself a bit because then my videos turn really long. And I think long turns a little boring. So I don't like long. I like a little short. But I want to inspire you today. So this is what I'm doing first. I am putting that diagonal on the side. And then I'm going to bring a bunch of different balloons that I stamped. And I stamped them on the Fleur de Flamingo. And I stamped them in grape grape. Oh, my dear. Gorgeous grape. That's the name of it. You see, I'm still learning the colors. Hi, hi, everybody that joined me this morning. I'm so excited. And to make things easier, what I did is that I already, I already put some dimensionals behind this. And I want to show you what I did. I'm going to start adding all these balloons in the same design that I did this card. Oh, I hit my camera. So sorry. You remember this card that we made last week? Well, I want to do the same design that we use in here. But in this case, we're going to use it with balloons. And we are going to um, be doing a very beautiful card. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You are never too old to make awe. And I will go to the inside of my card now. And I will add this right there. Yep, I want to do it just like that. Where is my glue? Oh, it's so good that you're here this morning. It's Monday. It's a good Monday to start motivated, start creating. And get all those creative juices out. So I'm going to put the other, the other side of my designer's paper right here 
And what I did is that this kit comes, the, not the kit, this suite comes with a, with a framelit that you can cut the word wish. So I cut the word wish and it's gonna go like this. And close it, it says, you're never too old to make a, and then the wish is gonna go inside. And when I cut this wish, I cut it with my multi-purpose uh, adhesive sheets. So, and there's another video that I show that how to do it on the big shot you just put this and it makes it sticky which is really really cool because then you don't have to be adding glue to your to any of your cutouts but there look how cool this card came together really easily and my idea again my goal is to inspire you to make cards to bless people but not to make it too complicated and i love what i do i love stamping and i love meeting with all of you so somebody say hello even if you are live or if you're listening to me later on on YouTube, this is the first card that we created. So I'm going to go and do another one for you. And this is really exciting because I haven't finished it. Okay. So well, Paper Pumpkin came with this nice cake. Hi, Stephanie. So good to see you. It is a fun card. It is so cute. Now I want to show you one. If you don't have a die that makes balloons, you can do this same, this same, you know, um, sketch with any other cards. So I want to show it to you with the cake that came, this cake stamp that came in the paper pumpkin kit from June. If you have any others, just feel free to use whatever you have. But look what I did. I decided to actually emboss in black a bunch of different cakes, okay? So I emboss them. I just um, heat emboss is what I mean. And again, one of my previous um, Facebook lives, I did some heat embossing right on the video today. I'm not doing it because of time because I want to show you different ideas. Ha ha, that's a bunch, right? So let me put this on the side. I'll put that right there and we'll start again. I, I heat embossed this with black and now I'm going to bring my black ink and I need to put, well, you know what? Maybe I can bring my purple again, my gorgeous grape. And I'm going to add this one for this month came with a congrats. This looks a lot like a celebrate. So I'm going to use a past paper pumpkin stamp set. This was like two or three months ago. I'm going to use the celebrate and I'm going to put it at the bottom. So I'm going to put it right here. And I'm planning on just stamp it right there, okay? So let's ink this really fast. Ha ha. I enjoy stamping so much. And I enjoy, ah, I moved my camera again. So sorry. I stepped on it and I'm gonna put this right here. Well, on the tripod, not on the camera. <laughs> There you have it. Look how cute that looks. And you know what? I want to do something else. I want to do something else. Give me one second. I'm going to bring that cake and I'm going to bring maybe a very light color of pink. In this case, I think I'll use my Blushing Bride. And what I'll do, let me see if this is clean. I want to make sure it's clean. Yes, it is clean. What I'll do is that I will be stamping my cake right on top of Celebrate. Okay, that was an idea that just came. And you see, it just gives a like a silhouette right there, but it's not very it's not very um, harsh. It's just very subtle. And then all your little cakes. And I'm sure you can put more bling into this if you wish. You could do that. And inside you can put happy birthday. But I have another idea. Okay, let's say that you don't want to make a birthday card, but you really like this paper, but you don't like necessarily cakes and balloons. Well, if that is the case, I brought another one. And in this case, you can have, um, this is the Tea Room Designer Series paper from Stamping Up. And I am using in here the Ribbon of Courage. This stamp set is very loved by everybody. And I decided, I already stamped sending love and hugs, but check it out. Check what I did. I stamp a bunch of different hearts. And again, I'm using the same color co coordination. Thank you, Daisy. So happy that you like them. I'm using the same color coordination right here. Okay. And we are going to be, let me see. Let me see. Okay. I think that's how, those are the amounts. I thought I had one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I don't know. Where's my other one? So, oh, found it. There you go. <laughs> that's, the, that's the joy of doing this online. 
but I really like this. And oh, you know what? I'm forgetting something. I'll show it to you in a second. Oh, you like the hearts. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes, it is. It is such a different. I just want to give you different ideas. Is it is the same sketch you see? And I'm sure you have paper at home that is pretty pretty. And sometimes you don't even know how to display it. Well, there you go. This is a cool idea for any for flowers so you can do something like this and you know what this does not did not take me a lot of time it did not just cutting all this once and i actually i decided not to do it on right on the camera because then it takes me a lot of time because i talk a lot <laughs> so in order to keep it short and show you many different ideas i did it this way but i am forgetting something and i want to show you what it is on these cards, the cards that actually came with a the kit, there was something that inspired me. And it's the way that they actually put the ribbon. I really like how they put the ribbon right there on the side. So I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, I don't know what I did. Oh, I want to show you this one. Okay, don't go. It's coming. Are you ready? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Isn't that beautiful? I love this card. And you know how I made this card? I made it with a DSP, the, the Broadway um, bound DSP. But then I used the cakes from the kit. So if you still have this kit and you have all these cakes, I just use them all and I put them with... Um, with dimensionals i think i have one left one left but then let's say that you don't have this but you like the the idea of it hi annette so good to see you so good to see you you like the idea of it well i did the same thing and look at at the at the twine on this side i really like that idea so i was inspired by this one to put the twine on this side you can take just one part of it and not use the whole sketch i use a totally different sketch and there you go i took the designer search paper and i cut all of these cupcakes yeah i just said and cut i'm not afraid of cutting so i cut all those little cupcakes and all those cakes very nicely even the candles i cut them and I put them stacked with some dimensionals, as you see. And then I put make a wish. So it's the same idea, the same idea. But then what I was telling you is that I forgot that I could put some nice, I'm going to measure here one, I'm going to measure two, I'm going to measure three, and I'm going to measure four. I'm going to find my scissors. There you go. And I'm going to take this, and this is just another way that you can use your twine. Okay. And we are going to make a little bow up here. A totally different, okay? This is not a birthday one, but these are all birthday ones, okay? I really, really want to know which one is your favorite of all of them. <laughs> Stephanie said she can't not shoot choose. So that is okay. I totally understand that. Okay, let me see what else I'm missing to show you today. These are the other ones that I created last week. Oh, I never show you this one. This is a totally different one. And I'm not remembering the name of it. So I'll put it on YouTube. It's one of the new stamp sets right here. And let me finish with something very small. Okay, so you saw this one at the beginning of the video. This is just a three by three. Okay, and I decided to bring you, sometimes you don't have the time to make a huge card. Okay, and I know they're not huge, but it just takes a little bit of time. So I brought and I used my Coastal Cabana this time. Same, same designer shirt paper, the Broadway Bound. And I got all my little thingies out here. And I'm gonna get real fast my tape and show you how I like using that nice sequence. So I'm gonna take my sequence and hopefully you're getting many ideas from here. There you have it. You have a very cute three by three these are very easy to make very cute this one has the sequence it brings a little bit of more bling like annette said this one has the twine and let me show them all to you this is the one i made in my last last facebook um last week on mondays at 11 this one i will tell you that i don't remember the name of it but it's one of the beautiful flowers with the tea room this one is no i made this one last last facebook and forgot to show you that this is the one that i created today and here i have my original as you see you're never too old to make a wish i have this other one the celebrate and this is the one that i will be adding some um twine because it just need a little bit of twine in there look how cool this looks with the twine doesn't that look beautiful? 
absolutely. I love the cakes from the kit. And this one is the cakes from the paper. So I just took the other side of the paper and I started cutting. And last but not least, I have the ones with a heart. So it's the same sketch. You can use your paper. You can use a little bit of twine. You can add some bling. You can have just birthday, birthday, die cuts, punches, cut the paper, whatever you want to do. But I'm super excited to show you these ideas. And I hope you tell me below which one of all of them is your favorite. Let me share with you this Bible verse that I read today. It's in Hebrews 12, 14. It says, make every effort to li live in peace with all men and to be holy because with a holiness, no one will see the Lord. And when I read that, I realized that as this morning I was praying, I don't know if you pray this way, but I pray, Lord, I want more of your holiness. And the word holiness is so, it, people are sort of afraid of talking about holiness. But when I think about holiness, I think about the beauty of the Lord. And I want more of His beauty. I want more of the glory of the Lord in my life. I believe that that is His purpose. And that is, that is what He wants to do. He wants us to be Christ-like. He wants us to be more like Him. And look what Matthew 5, 8 says. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. So I am pursuing his holiness. I want to worship in the beauty of his holiness, knowing that I'm going to see him and knowing that he wants me to be closer and closer to him. So I just want to encourage you today as you watch this video and you love the beauty of the cards and you love the beauty of the bling, that you do not get tired of seeking first God, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, the kingdom of God and his holiness, because it's beautiful and it will make you beautiful too. So God bless you. Seek him, seek Christ and being more like him. I want his holiness more than fun, more than vacation, more than entertainment. I want what he wants for me. And I pray that you also have a hunger for what he has for you. God bless you. Thank you for being here today. I hope you leave me your comments below and you let me know which one you like the most and you seek his face every day. Thanks to everybody who joined me. It was really fun and really a blessing to me. Ciao, ciao.